Coming to you live from the Fat Music Awards 2021 red carpet, it is me, George. Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm here to rate and review the red carpet looks from the Fact Music Awards 2021. You guys heavily, heavily requested me to review this in the comments. So here we are coming through for you guys. If you're new to one of my review videos, let me explain how this is going to work. I've got the red carpet looks here on my laptop. I'm gonna go through, talk references, concepts, designers, and much, much more. And then as this is a group presentation, I'll be rating the group out of 10. I won't be rating individuals today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. And whilst you're there, give this video a thumbs up. YouTube have also just introduced a brand new feature called Super Thanks. This is a way to tip your favorite creators and say thank you for the content that they put out. So if you would like to make a donation to my channel, it will be hugely, hugely appreciated. Let's get stuck into the first red carpet look. Kicking off with an hypen, we can see that they're serving us this very classy, predominantly black set of looks. I love these looks because there are different textures. And I always say when you're wearing all black, include different textures as it really helps to break up the outfit and it stops it photographing so flat. And we can see that here on Jay and I believe it's Sonu on the end. Sonu's got that beautiful double breasted leather blazer. I think that is a DB4. It looks like it's only got four buttons and the break, which is where your lapel folds back into the jacket is very low. And it looks like there's quite a wide peak lapel. I think that's a very interesting shape, a very contemporary shape for a leather blazer. And then we can see the same on Jay. His is a more jacket style than a blazer. It looks more like a coach jacket kind of silhouette to me. And then he's got the brooches on the lapel. I just love these looks. They're very classic, but they're all very contemporary cuts and each member has been styled differently. Members are wearing shirts and ties. Some are in roll necks. Sunu is in I think it's called a bolero or a bolo tie, which is kind of like that Western cowboy vibe. And then looking at the silhouettes of the trousers, it's all straight cuts, wide cuts, very, very contemporary. And just such a great set of looks to start this video off with. Of course, my eye went straight to that Chanel pin. I believe it's on Jake. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but my eye went straight to that Chanel brooch and I'm like, bitch. Me. I'm gonna kick this off by giving it a hypen 10 out of 10, all black, different textures, contemporary cuts. This is right up my street. Moving on to Astro, we've got more predominantly black looks and preparing for this video, I feel like a lot of these groups are wearing a lot of black. Maybe it's just we're coming into that full season, but I absolutely loved it. You just can't go wrong with black. Like in Hypen, Astro are giving us this very contemporary men's tailoring moment. My eye goes straight to San Hat, I believe, in the black and white polka dot double breasted suit. It's just so beautiful. And I love the detail. When you look at the jacket, you can see that the lapel is all black and it looks kind of like a velvet texture. And the same with the pocket flaps on the pockets, all black. I think that's really smart. And you can see that it just blanks out certain areas of the print and breaks it up. And then to me, it looks like there's black edging around the suit as well. Again, just to help define and break up the print. It's a really nice slim cut as well. I like the black shirt underneath because it keeps the attention to the print. If it was a white shirt, it would have broken the print up a bit more and kind of disturbed the polka dot, if that makes sense. I really love it. His is my favorite from this set of looks. And then Yoon Woo in this three-piece suit moment. When I first saw it, I was like, eh, three-piece suit, black and white, mm, what's new? But zooming in, you can see that there is a texture. And then on closer inspection, this beautiful picture here, like how fucking stunning does Yoon Woo look? You can see the beautiful texture on this suit, the really wide shawl lapel that plain waistcoat underneath a really smart move helps to break it up and then that same jacquard on the trouser and i like as well we've got that really small bow tie so it's not distracting from the texture of the suit it's such 
a beautiful piece of tailoring. And I think it is a shame that you can't see it clearer in the group shot, but I think it is black on a black background and black is such a hard one to photograph and see all of the details. Moonbin and MJ look really handsome, very classic suits. I like the fact that Moonbin has got that different shaped bow tie as well, whereas MJ's is more classic. And then Jin Jin's, I believe it's Jin Jin in the white lapel. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's just where the break is really low and it is a one button. I feel like this would have looked better if the break was sitting higher and it was maybe two or a double than that contrasting peak lapel would have worked more in my opinion. And I think as well, the striped tie, we could lose that. I think it's just a bit distracting. It's still nice, but I think it just needs a little bit of tweaking. I'm gonna give Astro eight out of 10. It is Sanha and Yunwu's looks that really killed this for me. And then it's just Jin Jin's needing a little bit of tweaking in my opinion. Moving on to BTS, BTS were dressed by Valentino and Valentino and BTS absolutely killed this. A lot of black again, but on the red carpet, we've got lots of different textures of black. We've got knits. We've got knits that have the beautiful cutouts. You can see the white shirts underneath. It just photographs so, so beautifully. My eye goes straight to J-Hope. This is such an interesting silhouette. It's very contemporary. We can see that this is a double-breasted blazer, but the cut of the sleeves is like a cape. We can see his arms poking through. He's got that exaggerated collar spreading over the top of the collar of the jacket. It's so great. And then the white sleeves poking out is breaking up the black. And then he's got that wide trouser tucked into that Chelsea boot. I love it so, so much. And then looking at the close up shot of the collar, you can see that it's two separate pieces. We've got that small, more traditional full shape. And then you've got the larger one underneath, giving it that exaggerated look. Really smart construction there. J-Hope, again, just coming through as the bias wrecker for me. Moving down to Jimin, I'm still not over Jimin with the black hair. I think it looks so fantastic. We've got a very classic Jimin look here, all black very classic menswear pieces, that black roll neck with that beautiful texture tucked into those black slim cut trousers. And then to me, it looks like he's got a chunky lace up derby style shoe. I love the texture of this roll neck. It's really beautiful. It looks like two pieces laid over the top of each other. I think I saw online that there was speculation that V and Jimin were wearing the same piece of knitwear. But if we look down to V, I think that is his flesh underneath poking through at the chest, whereas Jimin's, it's got the black backing behind it, so they're not, they're not the same style. Moving down to RM, you guys know I'm gonna fucking love this piece of knitwear. Black and white graphic, that Valentino V coming through, and I like the fact that the Vs are inverted. It's just a really beautiful piece of knit and it's really effective on camera. I like the fact it's been styled with that white shirt because it's contrasting against the black crew neck so it makes it stand out more. And then this has been paired with a pair of, I'm gonna guess like a straight cut pair of trousers. And then again, that chunky style derby shoe. I really love this look. It's not my favorite out of the group just because other members like J-Hope and V have more stylized outfits, but Compared to what we've seen him in in the stage recently, this looks like it fits him really well and it fits the overall concept of the group so, so well. He looks great. I mean, Aram always looks great. He always looks hot. Moving on to Jungkook, I really like the bottom half of his outfit. That wide trouser tucked into that boot is very much his personal style, that whole like, stompy boy aesthetic, but I'm not sure how I feel about the knitwear. I think looking at the close-up shot, there is quite a lot going on in the knitwear. We've got that leopard print in the midsection coming down towards the hem, and then around the cuff, around the neck, around the hem. To me, it looks like an intarsia style knit. So just the combination of those two, it's a bit much. And then I think where the jump has been styled over the top of those really wide cut trousers, it's just giving a bit of a too oversized silhouette for me. That's just my opinion anyway. It's still a nice look, but I just think the silhouette is a bit off and I just personally am not sure about the combination of like the intarsia and the leopard print on the knit. Sorry. Jin looks as handsome as ever. 
Mr. Worldwide Handsome, what is new there? I really love this outfit on him. I really love this outfit overall. And for me, it's that wide collar. It's the same as J-Hope's, the wide collar, except from Jin's hasn't got that second collar piece coming down on top. So it's giving me that really clean vibe that Jin is known for. I really love the oversized knit with the cutout detail as well, letting that white shirt peer through. It's just a really nice silhouette. And then he's got that slim cut trouser with that lace up chunky shoe on again. And this is what I'm kind of saying about Jungkook's. It's just a bit too oversized as an overall silhouette. Whereas we can see Jin, he's got that oversized piece of knit that is worn out over the trousers, but where the trousers are more of a slim cut, for me, that silhouette just works a lot better. Sugars. I love sugars. I love this so much. That sleeveless knit, that same style of cutout as Jin's, but it's slightly different. And then we can see that the collar on his shirt is more of a classic collar shape. And it's all about that piece of knitwear that's been worn over the top. And then the trouser to me looks like more of a straight cut worn with those same chunky derby shoes. And then I don't think this knitwear is tucked in. It's just been folded under to give it a bit more volume around the bottom. Really great styling on sugar. And then these, this has to be my other favorite along with J-Hope. I absolutely love this. That roll neck, with the cutouts allowing his skin to poke through. It's just so textural. It looks great and it really contrasts against the suit. And then the suit is this beautiful wrap shape, but it's not wrapping fully. It's just slightly over where a single breasted jacket would be. And it's such a sharp shape. It's slim, but it's a little bit boxy and just the silhouette of it is absolutely perfect. Where the jacket finishes just at the top of where his mid thigh is and then the slim cut trousers going down to that chunky shoe very contemporary menswear silhouette and just the texture of that roll neck underneath yes i love it <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and give bts a nine out of ten great looks it's just i'm not sure about junk looks next up we have kang daniel and to me this is a very classic menswear moment and I was expecting a bit more from Kang Daniel, just thinking of the styling in his MVs, Paranoia, Antidote. It's so extreme and bold and beautiful. And this is a beautiful suit, the shawl, the power, single breasted one button, but it's just incredibly classic. I thought we would see something a bit more contemporary from Kang Daniel. He looks great. It's a impeccably cut on him. The way it fits the shoulders, the sleeve length, the break on him, it's all perfectly cut. I just thought we'd see something more contemporary. We can see that on the tie there is a little bit of embellishment, which is a really nice cut, but then even the cut of the shirt underneath, that spread collar, that is very traditional classic menswear. So I do like it. I was just expecting something a bit more like Bold. Yeah. So for that reason, I'm gonna give Kang Daniel 8.5 out of 10. Also, let me know what you think of this in the comments. Were you thinking the same as me, something a bit more bold, or is this more of the vibe we get from Kang Daniel on the red carpet? Let me know. Moving on to Stray Kids, they're giving us this black and white moment on the red carpet. And I feel like this is quite pared down compared to what I'm used to seeing Stray Kids in, but this is my first time reviewing Stray Kids on the red carpet. So I don't know if this is the usual vibe for them or if it is usually a bit more extravagant. So please let me know in the comments, but thinking of their life performance looks, their MV looks, there's always something very extravagant going on. So I was expecting something a bit more bold, but looking at these looks, they're so, beautifully tailored and like in Hypen, I like the fact that everyone has something different going on. We've got shirts and ties, we've got jackets, worn shirtless, belted waists, all black. Bang Chan looks like he has this really nice detail on the collar, the chain at the waist. We can see Kim Jin's got the YSL brooch just poking through in the camera there. And then my favorite, it has to be Sung Min that beautiful jacket that's belted at the waist. You can see that there is a leather detail coming across the chest. The collar is leather. 
It's just these little details poking through that are making this really contemporary. And we can see as well, that the shoulders are a very exaggerated shape, giving him this really strong shoulder and then snatching him in at the waist. You know I love that silhouette. Look at what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Looking at the way Sung Min's has been styled as well, to me it looks like it's a single breasted jacket that's been wrapped over ever so slightly and then they've belted it because if you look at, I believe it's called the quarter, the way it's swooping round, you can see that it's been crossed over and then the outfit's been finished with those slim cut trousers that cut off right above the ankle and then to me it looks like he's wearing maybe the Prada Cloudburst Thunder sneakers or a Prada shoe that's got that really heavy sole right up my street. Strong shoulder, belted waist, chunky shoe. So Min, you've come through for me on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and give Stray Kids 8 out of 10. As I said, great looks, but I was expecting something a bit more extravagant. But please let me know in the comments if I'm being stupid there and this is the usual vibe that we get from Stray Kids on the red carpet. Speaking of Stray Kids, this is the jacket that I made inspired by the Red Lights jacket. So keep your eyes peeled, that video will be coming this week. Moving on to ATs, we've got another set of all black looks, but the difference here is that these are all very heavily embellished and they're really reflecting the lights. They've photographed really, really well. You can clearly see all of the cuts and all of the details here. And like I've said before, each member has a different cut going on. We've got really cropped jackets. We've got jackets that have been extended right down to the floor, different amount of embellishment, different lengths, different ways the jackets are doing up. It is really, really beautiful tailoring. Sam's outfit is one that really stands out for me. It's a really interesting silhouette. We can see that he's got that extremely cropped jacket with the really sharp shoulders and then the lapel that is pretty much down to the bottom of the jacket in that contrasting fabric, maybe a velvet. That's how it's looking on camera. I could be wrong. And then underneath, he's got that waistcoat worn of nothing underneath. But we can see the break of the waistcoat is quite close to the neck and then it hits him right on the hip. So the fact that the jacket is cropped and the waistcoat comes down longer, it gives that really, really interesting silhouette. And then the trousers are a really nice slim cut pair of trousers with black shoes. It's just giving him this really slim silhouette pretty much from the chest down. And then he's got that really strong shoulder. It's just such a cool shape. Another one that really stands out for me, I believe it's Wu Young. He stood to the right of Hong Jun and he's got that really glistening, glittery blazer on that's cropped. And you can see that it comes right across the body, wrapping over the gold buttons. It is a DB4, but you can see that the two buttons fasten here and then the fourth and third button are further up. I'm literally touching my nipples right now. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> Oh my God, the buttons are kind of where his nipples are. What's going on? What? Have they actually put buttons where his nips are? That's a bit strange. <laughs> Why am I noticing this? Yeah, moving on from the button nipple placement, I just really love the cut of this jacket. The way that it wraps is cropped, the strong shoulder, and then that wide lapel that really wraps around the body. And then we can see the gold buttons really contrast against that glittery black fabric. And just the way it photographs, it's just, my eye goes straight there, straight to Sam. I'm gonna give 80s 10 out of 10. I love these looks and they photograph so, so well. And it's just the perfect amount of highs and lows and really interesting silhouettes. Moving on to Itzy, I'm a bit disappointed by these looks if I'm completely honest. I think for me, it's the fact that they've just dropped low coat and switch and then the fashion on that was really, really bold. And especially low coat, like, Oh my God. And I feel like just off of that, they could have gone a bit further with these red carpet looks. They're nice red carpet looks, all black, different textures, different cuts. Yes, I'm here for that. I do really like Yeji's, the way that we've got that draping coming asymmetrically down her right hip and then like the stud or maybe like a gold, yeah, more of a stud detail wrapping asymmetrically around the waist. It is the most interesting look out of the group. The other looks, they're nice, but I just think off the back off of Loco, could have gone a lot further with the looks. Maybe they were trying to be a bit more restrained on the red carpet. So when they did come out in their performance looks, it was a bit more like 
of a reveal kind of moment, if that makes sense. What do you guys think of these looks? Let me know in the comments. I do like them, they are nice looks, but I was just expecting something a bit further. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give Itzy a seven out of 10. Moving on to 17, we've got another set of pretty much all black looks, predominantly black looks, by the trend this year at the FACT Music Awards 2021. These looks are nice, but they are very classic. Compared to 80s, compared to in Hypen, these looks are a lot more classic. And looking at the actual suits themselves, they do look quite similar cuts. It's just a difference between whether members are in a double-breasted suit or a single-breasted suit. You can see that the way it's photographed, there are different tones of black, there are different textures of black. We can see that there are some velvets, some more traditional suiting fabrics, but for me, there's not as much difference in their looks as in Hypen and as 80s, which really elevates their looks for me. These are really nice classic red carpet looks, but also the members of 17 are young, like, do you know what I mean? There just needs to be something a bit more fun in these looks, something a bit more contemporary. I feel like this is something you would expect from a group that are like slightly older, if that makes sense. I'm gonna give 17, seven out of 10. This is a really nice collection of suits. They all look great, but I think the stylist definitely could have taken it in a more contemporary direction, especially when the eight Hoshi are known for their contemporary sense of style themselves. I feel like I'm being harsh, but I, I'm i not. I'm trying not, do you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, I feel awkward. Super Junior, Super Junior look fucking incredible. This is a great collection of looks. Every single member has something different going on, but they're all so cohesive. It's a very cohesive color palette blacks, whites, and greys. And then even the prints are very cohesive and they've all been used in different ways and each member stands out for something different. There are different cuts of tailoring. There are different collar shapes. Members are shirtless. Members have shirts on with that beautiful black bow that's really coming down. I just think it is a really nice collection of looks. I also feel like there's a really nice mix of masculine and feminine in these looks here with the ruffled collars. And you can also see that there's ruffled collar shapes on some of the tailoring. It's just really nice aspects of shirting that have been brought into the tailoring and it works really, really well. Super Junior is gonna get nine out of 10 from me. Moving on to Cravity, I'm not familiar with Cravity at all. I've not listened to any of their songs, watched any of their MVs. If you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. Overall, I really like this set of looks. It's a really nice mixture of blacks with those really nice like midnight blue, dark blue tones coming through. And like 80s, I feel like Cravity aren't afraid of playing with different silhouettes, playing with different textures. We can see that we've got belted waist, belted waist and chains coming off of them. We've got leather panels as part of the suiting going across the chest. Again, defined waist. I like the fact that all of them are in leather trousers. I would say it looks like the bottom half of the outfits are pretty much the same. That same leather trouser in that same cut. Very, very similar black shoes, but it's all the top parts of the outfits that are different, different textures, different cuts, body harnesses worn over a double-breasted jacket. Like, come on, what is not to love? I also feel like there's almost like a stage outfit vibe to these looks, but to me, these are perfect for the red carpet. I'm actually gonna give Cravity 10 out of 10 because I love these looks so much. As soon as you give me texture, leather, a harness, a belted waist. I'm just gonna throw out the tens. <laughs> Finally, onto the boys. I said that really weird, the boys. Again, this is another group I'm not familiar with, so please leave your recommendations of songs and MVs in the comments, and I'll definitely have to check them out because these looks are fucking great. There's like a military vibe running through them. I think I'm getting like a military vibe because of the navy blue with the mix of red in it. And then also the fact where we've got members in hats and berets. I don't know, it's just giving me this military-esque vibe to their looks. What's great about these looks, again, 
everyone has something different going on, but they're so cohesive. We can see starting from the left that we've got stripes on top of this navy blue base shirt, but then we move on to that shirt that's white and navy, the tie tying into his shirt. It's just really smart. And then they start to introduce this black and white print down the line. There's lots of scarves and scarf-esque prints. The scarf worn as the tie, the scarf around the belt in those green colors tying into our guy right on the left. It's just really great styling. And I love the fact that they're in this deep blue tone. Everyone's been in black, so it's nice just to see a point of difference and the accent colors of the greens and the reds really come through here. And like I said, it's nice that we've not got everyone in a jacket. We've got just shirts and it breaks it up. And every single member's look has different details. A lot of work and thought has gone into the styling of these looks. I need to check out more of the boys. Please leave me your recommendations for the boys. <laughs> the boys. I'm gonna give the boys nine out of 10, great set of looks and just the amount of detail that is in these looks, obsessed. There were some amazing looks on the Fact Music Awards 2021 red carpet. Please let me know in the comments who has your favorite look, but what you should do next is go check out my previous video. I'll leave a little link in the top screen here as well as a link in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed. You are bloody brilliant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.